So the Old Forest is a Tennessee State natural area. It's a fairly recent designation, but it's, it's really such a magical place. It's an old growth forest, and there are not many old growth forests in urban areas in the country. And in the southeastern United States, the Old Forest State Natural Area in Overton Park is the only old growth forest in an urban area. This means that it brings this tremendous amount of diversity, you know, biodiversity to our inner city. It's very quiet. So we had one tiny little noise over here. And it's something that if you're not a birder, you might completely skip over. So a lot of us know the song of the Northern Cardinal, but this is a case of it's just a little contact call, a little tick. And so it's fun to think about why, why is that bird making that noise right now? It's probably contacting a family member. I have been fascinated with animals since I was too young to remember. When I was small, I would find a puddle to be a habitat and learn about the little water bugs that inhabited it. I graduated to being an amphibian lover by the age of six. <laughs> I loved frogs and tadpoles and then eventually I discovered the winged creatures and have just never looked back. Um, I come from a history of family members that also love birds and when I first looked through binoculars and made the association that this specific bird was in this specific habitat making this specific song, I was absolutely hooked. Oh, that was a, that was a juvenile robin. I think a lot of people get hung up on embracing bird identification because there are just so many birds out there. A lot of people also associate birding with visual. You have to have this fancy pair of binoculars to be able to ever identify anything and and that's just not true. To me one of the easiest ways to access comprehending that birds are all around us is by birding by ear. You know one species sings typically a very similar song all the time. Basically about five species in the summer cover 50 percent of the detections in the old forest. Carolina wrens again. They are so amazingly loud. This one right on the trunk of this tree, actually. If you can learn those top five birds, you can probably identify about 50% of what you are likely to detect in the park in the summer. It's a lot easier to break it down than people think. There's such a wonderful way to realize there's this other group of organisms inhabiting this space completely differently. And when you start to hear them singing all around you, you have a much better perspective on that. So we've had the red-bellied woodpecker twice. There's one that way, and then we've had one this way. There was a recent study that came out in Science that stated that basically three billion birds have been lost, and that is one third of the birds uh, in this country, in North America. And that is incomprehensible to think about, that we've lost that many individual birds. And it's not what we expected. You know, you would think that we are losing primarily birds that are endangered, threatened, birds that use threatened habitats, birds that are highly specialized, for instance, on a food source. But it's not true, we are also losing birds that are common birds, that inhabit your yards, that inhabit urban parks like Overton Park. So it's, it's a little frightening and it's important that we all find a way to feel connected to these animals that we're losing. And the more we can feel connected with other animals, the more we can be connected with the health of the planet itself. And birds are just a wonderful, accessible way to expand your horizons about what's happening here on planet Earth.